my phone. This video is about my phone. Oh, the intro. Welcome back. According to my YouTube analytics, you are more than likely new here. I am Appa Chabar from the Corsi fam. We are a family of free with a Twitter or a toddler, and this channel is about our life's journey. We have vlogs here, some parenting advice. Today I'm kind of deviating away from the parenting topics a bit. Although pretty loosely, you can argue that your phone is a very big part of your parenting journey. Today I want to talk about this specific phone my phone. This is an iPhone 6s. This has been my phone for about five years. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I am about to replace this phone with a new iPhone 13 mini. This video is not going to be about the iPhone 13 mini. If you want to look that up, there are endless amount of channels where you can learn about this phone. But me replacing this phone after five years, it just kind of made me think, you know? I would barely ever get sentimental about a piece of object. A couple of exceptions, uh, my first drone. What? What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? And this phone more than anything. So let's see why is that. As I mentioned, I purchased this phone 2016 November, so I've had it for almost five years. An average user unlocks their phone 110 times a day. That means that since I had this phone, I have unlocked this phone over 200,000 times. And this was the last iPhone where the home button was still actually a physical button. This fingerprint sensor has scanned my fingerprint probably around 200,000 times, and it's working just as well as the first day when I bought it. The camera, this is the first picture I took with this camera. This is the first selfie I took with it. This is the first slow motion footage. And since I have this phone, I probably made about 10,000 photos and videos with that in total. Even to this day, I feel like the camera still holds up. Just look at this picture that I took the other day of Annabelle. The screen is still perfectly fine. I never used a screen protector on this phone and it still doesn't have any single scratch on the screen. If you think about it, this is the absolute most personal piece of object that most of us have in our lives. This is the one single thing on this planet that I hands down touched the most. More than all the hugs that I ever given to any of my loved ones, any other piece of object that I ever had. This phone has been with me most mornings when I woke up. This was the first thing that I touched and looked at. This phone is with me almost every night when I go to bed. Talking about deeply personal, this phone has been my companion probably 90% of the time in the past five years when I went to the washroom. Chances are pretty high that you right now watching this video are exactly in the washroom taking a big old <laughs> this phone has been with me on my business trips. I traveled with this phone back to Hungary a lot of times. This phone has been with me when my daughter was born. <laughs> Not to mention the endless hundreds of hundreds of hours of FaceTime that I did over this phone to talk to my loved ones in Hungary. Every time in the past five years, I bought groceries, gas, or pretty much anything else. Instead of using my credit card, I just used this phone and Apple Pay. When I was driving to a new location, the GPS in this phone gave me directions. When I teach roof fitness classes, I have been using my phone for music and it never let me down. It was very reliable. So you get a picture. This phone has been a very trusted companion uh, for me in the past five years. And it has been a really, really big part of my life. And I think with this video, I'm just trying to give it the appreciation that I believe it deserves before I put it down for the last time forever. This is starting to sound a little dramatic, but yeah, this is the end of the road. And although Apple is still supporting this device, I just installed iOS 15 on this and it still works incredibly well. To be honest, I really just wanted a better camera. I'm pretty sure I could have gone another year with this phone, no problem, but I'm trying to create more content. I'm trying to put some more stuff into Instagram and I just feel like I need a better camera, that's it. So I'm gonna do what Marie Kondo would say. I'm gonna thank this phone for being there for me for the past five years. And what better way to do that than with a film? There you go, looking at you, looking at you, looking at you. My life through the lens of my phone. Sing on a weary line To 
you're scared to trust you in. We're going to be doing power presses and peanut presses. So just to recap what that means. You won't let anybody come near. I'll fix it on my own. What are we having? What's the burger? We are having the Southern Cold Chicken Burger. From shame. Keep up the pace to fool myself. I don't need grace. Will you be there to catch my fall? Need to be sure you'll hear my call. We are lost, but I feel like we might be on a right path backwards. Save us, we practiced. Boldog has a sarkashesh. Boldog has a sarkatesh. Boldog has a sarkateshigesh. I know I'll meet you down the line. You'll ask why I wasted my time. And I'll say I didn't know better But the truth is I was weak and scattered Afraid of the blame Outside here, in the little waiting area, there's Mike and Anitra there. And Alyssa is sleeping right now, so that's pretty good. She gets a little break, and we're just here uh, chilling. Will you be there to catch my fall? Here's to Annabelle, her first dog party. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. In the name of my daughter, you guys are amazing. Good job having me. Thank you. Episode of trying something new. This is very new. We're giving her blueberries today. That was a miss. Let's, let's try this one. <laughs> I've been vaccinated. So, uh, live in Canada, they said. It'll be fun, they said.